Hello everybody, this is not a crypto expert chime again with a video to follow up on how to sign into Binance. The, uh, the previous video I showed you how to uh, create a Binance account. This is logging in and setting up the two-step authentication with either Google Authenticator or uh, with SMS two-step authentication. So the first thing that you would do would be to, uh, after you've established your account, you've signed up for the account and you verify the email that was sent to you from Binance, you would log in. Uh, make sure that whenever you're logging in that you're actually logging into Binance.com. Remember, uh, make sure that it has the HTTPS and you would type in the username that you created from the previous email. And hopefully I remember the password that I created. Click login. It's going to bring up a uh, jigsaw puzzle that you just have to move the mouse over to uh, complete all right so now at this point I'm successfully logged in these are just a few steps that they want you to take number one make sure that whenever you log in you are logging into that URL and only that URL check the box uh, never install any browser plugins do not want your, your cryptocurrency stolen or your credentials stolen. Once again, no phone calls to anybody that claims to be Binance support. Don't give out any of your passwords or anything that's going to allow anyone to authenticate on your account. And once again, never send cryptocurrency to somebody that claims that they are a, a member of Binance because that's not the way that they're going to contact you. So after you click those those boxes, click I understand and continue. And at this point, you're prompted with two step authentication. So I'm going to use the Google Authenticator because that's what I, I've been using for all of my other accounts. Now, I've already got the app on my phone. so if you did not depending on which device you had or which platform you had you know if it's an I iOS device you would of course click that button if you've got a uh, an Android based device you would click that all right so like I said I've already got it installed so I'm just gonna press next all right now at this point you open the app the Google Authenticator app and what you do is you take a picture of it of the uh, of the QR code so I am you can't see this because I'm doing it with my mobile but I just took a picture of this QR code and now on my Google Authenticator inside of the app there is a listing for this email account in this exchange so alright I have scanned it next step and I am going to have to uh, get rid of this key so that you don't see it but it's a backup key that you want to save definitely want to save this and actually I'm gonna take a screenshot of it just to make sure that I've got it all right so I went on ahead and I typed in the key that I was supposed to have saved I am now typing in my finance password and now I am pulling up the app on my my device on my mobile device and I am pulling the code for Binance for this particular um, well, for this minute, the, uh, the the code changes every 30 seconds. So you've got to be, well, not quick, but you've just got to make sure that you're typing and get it in whatever the code is quick enough to where it will allow you to authenticate your account with the two-step authentication. So at this point, that's it. Uh, I've set up two-step authentication after my first initial login. So those are at the very least things that you need to do to make sure that you are secure once you've established your account on Binance.